Why are we here tonight on this live is to talk about Bitcoin. And is it too late to buy it? I was asked that question today. All right. So, we're set. Somebody asked me today, is it too late to buy Bitcoin? I'm assuming that that person might have heard for somewhere, maybe the news, I don't know, because CNBC be talking about it a lot right now. Um, hey, Eva, let me know if you can hear me. I'm going to make sure that everything is clear on this side. Um, yeah. So right now, Bitcoin's price is up. And I mean up, up. Right? Hopefully this isn't reversed. It looks reversed to me. Y'all let me know. if it's, That's 18,600 and some change. Cool? So it's up. Thanks, Eva. Appreciate you. Um, I remember you, you were trying to get into... Uh, Bitcoin or crypto and at one point you asked me a question about it like years ago I think when it was hot 2017 if anybody's wondering back in 2017 crypto was hot fire back in the day Bitcoin was up and it it topped out at the that 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 last run that started in 2017 at 20,000 basically so it's back up and a friend of mine called me hey is it too late to buy Bitcoin I guess he's assuming that it's gonna hit 20 and then crash again I don't know <laughs> you know so, what y'all think? 2017 started out about $1,000. Went all the way up to twenty. dollars right? Um, got some, but haven't checked in a while. Check it, Eva. Check it. Make sure you got access to it. You don't want to see this thing go past 20 and then you, you can't find the, the, uh, you know, the wallet key or whatever to access it. So, definitely find um, that. You know, start tomorrow. Try. I I, I think it will. You, your life will be easier if you you can access it. Because I'll just say this: I've lost a, a cryptocurrency wallet before, and it ain't fun knowing you can't find it or access it. So, <laughs> it, it, you know, it's okay. Sorry, I don't want to expand on that too much. What we can't. We talk, today's topic was: Is it too late to buy Bitcoin? And if you weren't here earlier, it's because. You know, a friend of mine is asking if it's too late. So what I am wondering is, maybe Eva can answer this. Do you think it's too late, Eva? Does anybody in here right now think it's too late to buy? Dorsey, what's up, man? Yo, Mike, your page is hilarious, bro. Just got to let you know. Shit's funny. Anyway, um, when he, when he asked me that, I immediately was like, ah, oh, man. I don't want to give a, a biased opinion, okay, right? Um, so I wanted, I kind of want to get some opinions on this. So I don't know why I'm going live. I could have easily just posted this, but I, I felt inspired. I've been wanting to talk about finance stuff in general. So what I'm wondering is, um, essentially, if my bias is really going to cause me to answer this based on the fact that I am also invested in cryptocurrencies. But, you know, that doesn't, that shouldn't matter, right? I'm still going to say it to him and answer the question, right? And basically let him know, like, these cycles happen. In the crypto world, things go up and they come back down. The crazy thing is, you got to also realize that this happens in the traditional market as well. Technology, in general, tends to get above where it's actually... You know, value, its value goes up beyond what its actual utilization is, its true output in production is. Like, we get humans, we just get excited about new things, right? We, we see new objects like a PlayStation 5, and we think, oh my God, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. Like, it's going to change my life forever. I got to get one. Yeah, you, you, should, you might want to buy one if you really are, you know, using that to be productive, it helps you in some way, but it's probably not necessary for you to drop 500 immediately to go get it. We, we just get excited thinking that it's gonna look like 3D. The imagery is just gonna wow us so much. And then when we get it, we just like, okay, it's, it's cool, but it ain't that crazy. So we get excited and we're willing to pay more than what something's worth at the time. And that's why some objects like PlayStation sell on eBay for above 
their actual market value, right? So if you can understand that concept, just like you would understand that Jordans are so coveted that if you bought one today, that could drop to maybe drop today you bought it, you could probably go sell that thing for higher than it's actually worth because people covet those things. At the time, 2017, Bitcoin was very coveted, right? Especially in the idea that they were going to make a higher return than what, you know, on the, on it and basically sell it to the next person for higher than they bought it for. Um, so it got out of hand. It got to the point where prices went up parabolic, as people would say. But, you know, things that go up that fast, you, you kind of have to wonder. You should understand that watch calm your greed and take your time and if you decide to invest in something like that just dollar cost average uh if you're not sure what that is uh, look it up but of course do your own research but i'm gonna explain it real short it is the idea that i will consistently put money in maybe i say uh, my cap my total i want to put in is five thousand i don't know why i just said that number i just did five thousand shit it could be a thousand i consistently every week put a hundred in if say it's a thousand, I put a hundred in every week on a on a Wednesday. No matter what the price is, I put that in. Over time. So I'm basically investing over time and I'm not getting crazy and then putting the money in and then essentially lose all my money at once if it crashes the next day. If I put it in over time, I gradually white ride that wave, the ups and the downs, and I'll even out dollar cost average into my position of whatever I'm investing in. So anyway, I'm telling the friend now about what that, that he asked me um, about, is it too late? I'm saying to him, you know, if you would have looked at Tesla back in the day when they were, you know, just coming out, they had a little boom and then dropped and then batteries blew up. And I mean, well, not batteries, but cars started crashing on their own and the price went down. But they were selling a good product, right? It had value. People wanted to use it, and um, essentially, Tesla bounced back. They bounced back heavy right now. Well, crypto's doing the same thing, right? People are figuring that out, figuring out that all the hate, the bad news, and all the stupid, you know, things people are saying, like it's being used for illicit activities, is all kind of thrown out the window. And now, institutional people, like you know, BlackRock or look up J.P. Morgan, he's like, um. Uh, what JP, not JP Morgan, sorry, JP Morgan's CEO, Jamie Dimon, is now accepting of crypto or, you know, the technology that runs Bitcoin. He was literally against it in 2017, like literally saying he would fire people that worked for him if they ever traded Bitcoin. You know, things like that. If somebody like that can flip, do a 180 and literally now endorse it in some way. Um, you got to wonder what's going on. Why is it still around? Just like Tesla didn't fail. Well, crypto isn't failing either. It's just that we got a little excited in 2017 and now we're bouncing back. And if anybody's wondering, I don't know if y'all pay, pay attention to the prices. It's at 18,600, right? So if, I'm guessing this is what caused my friend to see it. And the short answer is... It wasn't too late in 2017 when it was basically the second, I think that was like the second crash, 2006, before the second crash. 2016, it, it really was low. Like, I'd say right now in 2020, this is a mimic of what happened to Bitcoin in 2016. So let's go back a couple years on this chart. I'm not trying to sell you anything, so don't think this is a Forex training or one of those, one of those not, nothing against Forex. I'm just saying those people online, they'd be trying to show you charts and, and, yeah, look at this and buy that and you should buy in it. And I go, yo, calm down, yo. <laughs> You're leading these people to the wrong thing. You got to make their own decision in life. Stop trying to tell them what to do. Like, buy now. Anyway, instead of teaching you how to read the charts, some of those guys are literally just telling you when to buy and sell. They're, they're manipulating you. And they're also using you to manipulate the market. So watch yourself for those people. So anyway, this is... Let's see if I can get this easily on here by touching it. All right, there we go. So if you were to look at this chart, you can see it just goes crazy up, right? From 2017 
just blasted the hell up. 2016, we, yeah, it was up, but it wasn't some crazy line like that. Hopefully y'all can see that. So all I'm saying is, it looks like we've been going up and down, up and down for a while, but mostly up. Got a little crazy in, uh, in uh, the last couple years, last two, three years. But looks like we're about to do it again. And I don't think 20,000, which is what capped out in 2017, is really going to be the cap going forward. Now, I'm not telling you stuff's going to go all the way up. Now, I'm not, now I'm not telling you shit crazy. not going to stop. It's not going to take a dip. What goes up must come down, right? If y'all agree, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. It's, it's, uh, I'm not the genius here with any investing stuff, but all I'm saying is we, we might be on another ride with the crypto stuff if these big time investors like Stanley Druckenmiller and the guy who runs BlackRock, they, mo they handle trillions of dollars. If they're telling us that crypto isn't bad, and that Bitcoin is like gold, but digital. Uh, they try to send signals, man. It's like they send smoke signals. Like, yo, other rich folks, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look at this new shiny object. Buy it. Because I'm buying it. And even if they're trying to manipulate the market, I don't think they manipulate markets for like real quick. So we might see a little bit of a rise come 20K. I mean, there obviously is going to be a dip at some point. Might dip before 20 and then bounce right up to 22, 23, shit, 30. I don't know. I don't think it's too late. If you think it's too late, please let me know. I am not opposed to hearing other people's opinion on this. I really would, you know, love to hear your opinion on this. But for all those out there with nothing else to do on a Friday night because they don't, you know, have anywhere to go that's pandemic free or they don't want to take a chance and, you know, get in contact with somebody else that has it. Cheers. And until next time where I talk about random investing stuff like this, not because I'm a guru on it and that you should listen to me, but... Because we ain't got no damn shit to do. Or at least I don't. I don't know what y'all doing. If y'all doing anything fun, let me know. Drop it below. Until next time.